Hi, my name is Joe Schwab, and today I'll be making gochong pork belly shakshuka. Uh, I started cooking pretty young, watching my mom cook and then pick it up from this. Yeah, I just liked it, and then watching my mom, and then whenever she was busy, and the leftovers would run out, just have to cook something. Uh, I guess because I'm a quarter Korean, so just growing up, my mom would do it with Russian food, because we're part Russian. I just carried over as I grew up. And now, I guess it's just a way to express creativity. Uh, just using a lot of Korean spices, looking up Korean recipes and adding it, and just adjusting it, finding different recipes together. So I learned this recipe when I was on birthright in Israel. I turned 18, you're allowed to go on your birthright to Israel and explore the culture and heritage of the homeland. And then when I came back, I just started cooking shakshuka. And slowly I just added some Korean touches to it, made it more flavorful. I just like the flavor of real tomatoes. And when I've made it with the canned sauce, I feel like I never use all of it and then throwing out some, so I'm not waste any food. And then once it gets soft, you mash up the tomatoes, add the pork belly, let it simmer a little, and then you add the eggs. I usually cook it on lazy Sundays. It takes time to make. Uh, you can cook it pretty much any time. Some people eat it for dinner. You go to like a Middle Eastern restaurant, I'll have it on the dinner menu. I was just mostly dipping bread in, and when you're out of bread, you're kind of like soup. As soon as the egg whites turn white, pretty much done. You don't want to overcook the eggs, so take it off as soon as the egg whites are white. Otherwise, you won't have the runny yolk, which is the best part.